I am Angus at LabVac. Slightly different format today. Uh, you normally see just my hands working on the bench on a pump. Today you get to see my face and you can see why it's normally just my hands. So, what is oil mist? Why should I care? With any oil sealed rotary vein pump, whenever you have a large amount of air flowing through the pump, either at start up or when the gas ballast is employed, the air rushing through picks up particles of oil and blows them out of the exhaust and you see smoke is what it looks like. It's actually oil mist. So in this demonstration I'm going to put a clear flask over the exhaust of the pump. That's not creating the mist, that's just to make it easier to see. It helps the camera to pick it up so that it's visible. Um, and as you can see in this case, the gas ballast is employed. A large amount of air is now flowing through the pump and it's bringing these oil particles out as a mist in the exhaust. Now, that mist, um, some research suggests it's a carcinogen. Uh, in any case, it is nasty to have in the lab. It smells of oil and uh, it has to be stopped. It's a normal function of any pump that it will produce that mist under those conditions. So the only way to deal with it is with an oil mist filter, sometimes called an oil mist eliminator. So when does oil mist occur? As I said, it's a function of having a large amount of air flowing through the pump. So it will occur when you first start the pump up when it's pulling a lot of air out of whatever piece of apparatus is attached to it. It will also occur when gas ballast is employed because that brings a lot of air rushing through the pump again. And it can occur at any time during your process when the inlet pressure to the pump is raised for any other reason. So how do I stop the oil mist? Well, it's worth pointing out that it's not a function of a bad pump. It doesn't indicate that there is any problem with the pump or the process. It is a standard byproduct of operating an oil seal pump. And it will occur with any make or model of pump. So the way that it's dealt with is using a coalescing filter fitted to the exhaust. And that's what we call an oil mist filter. So this is our OMF 25 oil mist filter. This has been sized to suit a number of small pumps from many manufacturers. It has a KF25 climb flange top and bottom, and it also has a drain port on the side. And if I open it up, I can show you what's happening inside. So with the top can removed, you can see in here, we have a removable filter which is held down by this clamping screw. And once I've removed that, I can show you the element. And this is the guts of what happens. This is a coalescing filter. The uh, exhaust of the pump will flow up through the inside of this and then flow through the filter and out. Now the filter is rated at 0.3 microns. Um, so this will give us 99.97% efficiency in trapping the oil. The oil particles are too large to fit through the filter membrane, where of course the air is able to pass through. So that's the element that traps the oil mist. And inside the can, there's an O-ring to seal the two halves. And then you can see this center stem. This is where the uh, outrushing air from the pump will travel through and there is a spring-loaded relief valve in the center it's too stiff to lift by hand but when you have very high pressure coming out from the pump um, should the filter become blocked the point of the spring pressure relief is to allow pressure to uh, release through here without going through the filter body itself if the filter is blocked. And then right down at the bottom you can see 
in the case of our IMF filters, the oil, once it's collected in the bottom here, is able to drain back into the pump as soon as there's no pressure forcing against it. So when the pump is switched off or when it reaches full vacuum and sits there for a period of time, any trapped oil will flow back into the pump. You also have a drain plug on the side. If your pump is in use all the time at relatively high pressures, oil will collect. So the drain port allows you to drain that out, but it also gives you the opportunity to fit an oil return so that even when the pump is in full operation, the oil can still return normally through a gas ballast port back into the pump. The element, of course, is replaceable with a simple screw fit and then the o-ring goes back on there seals the two halves together so which filter is right for my pump well we do the OMF in two sizes, a 16 and a 25. This being the 25, it's been sized to suit the Edwards RV range of pumps. It will just sit onto the exhaust like that and be clamped in place with whatever your chosen clamping type is. And that will provide uh, elimination of oil from all of the RV sizes, 3, 5, 8 and 12. Uh, and also any similarly sized pumps from another manufacturer which have a KF25 outlet. We also do the KF16 size which will suit your labelled DB series pumps, um, Welsh pumps, others that use a KF16 exhaust port again up to 14 cubic metres per hour. There is also then a larger size which is sized to suit the Edward E2M 28, another very common vacuum pump. So we have a number of different options to suit your pump. And if you go to the website, uh, they're all listed out and it will tell you exactly which model fits which pump.